Alright, hello guys, and today I thought I'd show you a little bit of what happens whenever my computer gets a virus. So, this little warning from AVG has come up about three times now, and every time I've hit protect me, recommended, and that hasn't fixed the problem. So, um, first of all, task manager, let's see if we can find this application running. So, we will see if it is running. We'll sort by name. And we're looking for S, something in the S's. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be in there. Not in here. And it's definitely not up there. Startup, is it in the startup? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> no. All right. So, uh, all right. So, just going to do that, see if it'll take care of it this time. It says it's in C colon Windows, so let's close that down. Alright. Well, and now all we have to do is S. I think it had a C in it. Let, let's just search for .exe in Windows. <coughs> it's just gonna search here for a while. No, I remember it starting with an S. <sighs> so, we will see here in a sec. Alright, it looks like it's gone through everything. And now we're looking in the .exe area. And even... Don't you love? Okay. And now let's look for capital S and then dot also dot exe. You know, um, while this is working, there's a another good way to do this. Pull up command prompt. Can we get a dir on c colon backslash windows backslash s that's it. S E okay. So we're gonna want to um, find S E C O A C O H dash Q A D dot E X E as I remember it's working on it. And um that's a DLL. We're probably gonna want to remove that as well. So it looks like it's just the DLL. Okay. So I was wrong. Okay, yeah. There we go. So can we can can we just delete? Can we do a 
Martel. If we type in SE. No, SE. S E C Yeah, I think it's gone. So, um if we refresh uh we want of course dot D L L <coughs> So we'll see if it finds it. No item smashing that search. All right. Now, the final thing, of course, that needs to be done is um, scan the computer. Whole computer scan was started. Good for you. And we'll just drag it all the way up to fast because, I mean, That that CPU usage is pitiful. Disk usage not so pitiful. So if it starts using up too much disk speed, I'm going to have to call it. If it sticks around at 100% of um, if it sticks around at 100% load. Yeah, you have to call it because my SSD cannot handle 100% load without crashing. But as you can see, it plummets and it goes back up. And then, so long as it doesn't cap out like that for a long time, it should be fine. Maybe I should make this graph a little bit more concise. There, that looks better. <coughs> oh, I forgot to record this video at 60 FPS. Darn it. Oh well, whatever. So it's just scanning everything. Now, usually. Here, here's something you have to remember. Usually, whenever you try and delete something within the Windows files, if it's if it actually is something important, it won't let you delete it because it's Windows likes to keep all of the files that it needs very safe and secure, and not even administrator command prompt can mess with it. PowerShell probably can, but Windows command prompt is like mm, no we're not doing that <coughs> anyway um that's that's perfectly fine so it seems to be finishing up with its scan it's gotten out of the windows directory and now it's looking through program files x86 so Yep, just uh, everyday virus removal. And uh, this should be a little bit uh, educational to those people who don't don't know their specific facts about viruses. And the things that need to be remembered when you're talking about viruses is that A, they're usually very easy to get rid of, even if your antivirus software can't. You can, if it, if your antivirus software can find it. Warning: high load from uh, OBS. No threats found. G Willikers. I wonder why that is. <coughs> mm. Well, that 
that's all fine by me. That that processor speed though, I think my actually kind of old now. 4770K is um is on something. I don't care as long as it's making my computers super fast. But um anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, so some of the easiest tools to get rid of a virus is if your antivirus software finds it but can't get rid of it, i.e. pops up again and again and again, you can always, right here, it's as easy as going into command prompt, make for sure it says admin, hit yes, and then you do the command dir and then find whatever it is you're looking for. You can, if it's on your C drive, you do C colon backslash. And then, let's say you have a virus in program files. So you just can type in pro like that. And hit tab, the tab key, and it will cycle through all the things that would match that search criteria. So let's say it's in program files x86 and then you sometimes have to just delete that little quotation mark there and then do that and maybe let's say that it's in common files and it's install shield and we can look and look through here and see all the stuff and maybe it's that file right there and then if you were to go over here so oh hold on so let's say maybe the virus is ctor.dll now you have to know the whole directory this is just some random stuff I made up and then you would go in here and do dl so del and not with caps locks del that stands for delete and that's the command you're running right there. Oh, hold on. That's not selecting right. Del, right there. That's your command. And that will delete whatever it is. And usually, <coughs> if your computer, uh, if your antivirus software finds it, you can find it. And just deleting a tiny little bit of it will render the virus completely useless because it needs all its components because of the the very um, fragile nature of Windows exploits that viruses use to get in. Um, because of that, getting rid of a very small part of them will make them quite dysfunctional. And that DLL seemed to go away just fine. And um, beyond that, I have to say that, oh, what else is it? Uh, I can't even remember what I was going to say. Uh, maybe I wasn't going to say anything. Other than that, be sure to have a good one.